From the Live Casino Hotel Studio, it is the Press Box Fantasy Football Show with Ken Zalis. Glenn Clark and Kyle Ottenheimer, too, but mostly Ken Zalis. He's the star of the show. It's good to see you, sir. How are you? Star of the show. Wow. Well, it's hey, your yeah, show. You it's the Ken Zalis program. I think we uh, we debated for hours about what we were going to call yeah, it. And we said Somebody said it should be the Ken Zalis Variety Hour, uh, but then they some said of, Some of what I say apparently is humorous this year. Yeah, there are moments. <laughs> there are those moments. And then like somebody said that you had demanded in your contract that you not have to do song and dance routines, which really kind of pissed me off because that was half of what I had prepared for this show this season. So really not thrilled about that. It is good to see you, however. You as well. Uh, let's start with the headlines, as we always do. The big one being, of course, the return of Melvin Gordon. Won't, won't be this week, but will be next week. Um, expectations for what this is going to look like. One, is he an immediate play next week? Is Austin Eckler still a play after Melvin Gordon returns? So, Eckler, I, I, let's do the latter first. Eckler in a PPR is still a play. Um, he had standalone value last year with Gordon. I don't expect that to change. Uh, let's take the kind of Ezekiel Elliott view of this. Uh, he came back. He didn't get his full workload the first two weeks, and then he was back to where he was. So I think it's going to take Gordon the same couple of weeks. I don't know that he was training in Cabo, so I don't know where he was training. I don't know either. So uh, <laughs> By the way, if you can, why wouldn't why you train wouldn't in Why wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so – I, I've seen a lot of people, you know, trying to dump, you know, give Eckler away to the the Gordon owner and, and things like that. I, I would hold on to Eckler for the time being, um, and I would wait a week. Um, I think they have Denver next week, which isn't a fan, didn't isn't a great matchup for running back. So I I would hold. I would think at worst it's a fifty fifty split uh, next week with uh, Gordon, kind of becoming a two down back he's your goal line back but i know he catches passes he's good in the passing game but eckler's proven um that he can do it and he's the one that's going to be here long term uh in 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 uh san diego in la uh isn't there like a weird argument to that where like they wouldn't mind running melvin gordon into the ground because there, of that there there is but they also the the flip side is they truly have to find out if eckler's the guy they they want to go forward with, uh, you know, with the draft considerations and things like that, and he'll need money as well at some point. So uh, there, there's, there's, there's two sides of it. Uh, Gordon also, uh, let's not ignore that he's he's missed games over the last couple of years with some injuries. So uh, I'm not, I'm not rushing out to start him next week. Um, I'm not dumping Eckler right away i, I want to see a couple of weeks how it works out all right the giant situation obviously a big bummer for saquon barkley owners and there are some jerks that were trying to throw away their trash to saquon barkley owners this week which it, is a really worked. weird bit it worked in so many yeah, weeks. yeah yeah um did you did you forget who you were talking to well you could at least reject it you don't just do have to let it sit i'm there. not even going to justify the trade that you sent me in that league it wasn't a terrible trade Look it up. What was it? I canceled it now. Because yeah, because you knew better. Because well, no, you knew better. It was not. It was a. It was a top five tight end. It was. You wanted a you wanted, serviceable you running wanted, back. Who? Uh, it was not. It was not. I'll try to pull it up. I'll it try was to pull a it worthless up. Worthless trade. It, it was. You were giving me but, the trash. But but look, the Barkley thing is 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 really weird because a lot of people spent. If you're in one of these leagues where you have to spend uh, free agent money to get free agents. Uh, People spent a lot of money on Gallman. I mean, a ton of money on Gallman. I thought he was worth about twenty-five percent of your fab, as it were, as it were. Doesn't it scare you also that clearly Daniel Jones has a role in the running game? Right. A little bit? I mean, I mean, there, there's there's that as well. Um, and we really don't know how long. I mean, the 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 four to eight weeks is such a. He's not getting surgery. It's official now. Right. So it's closer to four than eight to me. Whether that means it's six and it's right in the middle, who knows. But you know, I, I Gallman has had moments, but he's never been able to sustain it. Barkley's a guy you should hold on to. Now, on the flip side, you should also take the tack that I did and look at you're in a different situation. You're undefeated. So, but there, there was there are situations where teams that have Barkley are zero and three. And they can't afford to hold on to Barkley for four to six weeks if they're really trying to make the playoffs in the league. 
see what they see what you can offer you know most people when you offer them a trade will reject it and counter <laughs> yeah or other, something like other that people instead will look at you of, and say what instead kind of, of human being i'm are talking you? to kyle yeah some people would reject it or you know call you names or at least acknowledge the fact that it was a trade maybe yeah. maybe counter offer i like to do what my bit is but is some if it's people a trade that i anything. find insulting I will counter with an equally insulting I, offer. And I appreciate that. And just be like, oh, I okay. Know you want I, my right, number one right. player he offered me for DeMarcus, Pierre Garçon. He, offers me, he offered me, he wanted Saquon Barkley okay. and Devin Singletary. Okay. He offered me back Demarcus Robinson. And I, I don't even, I, Demarcus probably, somebody Robinson, I think he's already released. Demarcus, no. Demarcus Robinson, Will Disley, and I think it was Eckler. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's it's going to be a no, no for me it was not well. Eckler. It was not Eckler. It was a running back. It, it might have been a running back. It was not. You don't have Eckler in this league. I don't. Yeah. Who, who was it? I, I, that's why I'm saying. I think it might have been somebody you really. Your running backs in this league are McCaffrey and Carry On Johnson. It was not one of those two. Or Todd Gurley. It was not him. It was not him. Then it might have been Malcolm Brown. It wasn't Brown because I would have well, kept the handcuff. Yeah. Then you've got it was. It could have been Daryl Williams or Ronald. It was Ronald Jones. It was Ronald Jones. You offered me Ronald effing Three Jones. Three guys that have just come off of big <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so I just got in another league. I got Barkley and AJ Green from an 0 3 team, and I don't remember. It wasn't it wasn't that bad, but it, it 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 was. But I made offers to anybody. You and John Proctor. I can't. <laughs> I made offers to everybody in leagues because there are teams. Um, that can't afford to hold on to Barkley and wait four to six weeks. So why wouldn't you make an offer? It doesn't mean it's accepted, but to do nothing about it to me is just silly. Anyway, uh, is is Elijah Penny someone that it's worth if you have a roster spot looking at at all? If you have a dead roster spot and you want to pick him up just to have him on your roster to see how this works out for a week, I'm okay with it. The problem here is that Penny is more of a, a fullback than a running back, and they were real – I mean, last week the, they were using Daniel Jones near the goal line. So I, I don't know that he has any value in anything more than a, a standard league as a as a touchdown vulture. But, you know, if you have a hurt guy that you're like – or you're somebody that you picked up, the last guy on your bench, and he's like, okay, I tried that. It didn't work. If I want to pick him up, sure. I mean, you can – you can sit him there for a week with the understanding that if he gets two carries and doesn't get in the end zone, you're going to wind up dropping him right away. The Press Box Fantasy Football Show is brought to you by Wise Markets. If you need groceries today but don't have time to shop, order online with same-day pickup or delivery at Wise Markets. Wise to go online. Now that's convenient. Um, Antonio Brown owners. Oh, just drop them. Can we stop this I, bit? Why? Because nobody's touching the dude. You you say that as if in, for somehow he's clear the next three weeks that you're certain that nobody would sign him. First of all, the NFL doesn't clear anybody in three weeks. Oh, they Second, have. Secondly, I, I if you're picking him up, he's going to a bad team. I don't I don't want anything to do with him. You, I told people to drop him. He's wasting space. This is not this is not a holding on to a Barkley or a Hunter Harvey or or uh, Hunter Harvey. Uh, <laughs> you could hold. You never yeah, know. know. He, was, he, was shut, yeah. he was shut down. Save opportunity. You know, or, or an AJ point. Green, somebody that is coming back that you know you're going to get something out of. I, I I don't. He's going to a bad situation if he does come back. It's not worth it. It, it just – we're playing this game again, and it was fun for the, the one quarter for the Patriots. Maybe he'll go back to the Bills. I don't know. Um, this is my issue, right? My issue being that you run the risk of letting somebody else in your league end up with him when he does become available. That's my problem here. Uh, but – and again, I just I just look at it like, like I'd rather waste a roster spot on protecting Antonio Brown from someone I mean, else than wasting it on you sure. know. Sure, I, I I I don't I don't play that way. I don't I don't I don't go in that terms because somebody else may get him. I I just he's going to a bad situation with a bad quarterback. I, I name the name the teams you would want him to go to that you'd be excited about. I, I, mean, I just I, I I'm look, he, I'm he doesn't have Ben or Brady throwing to him anymore. 
Okay, that's fine. I still think that wherever he is, he's going to be productive I, if he plays. Uh, I think if he plays, which is a huge it's question, a big if. he would be uh, productive. You know, we, we've been through the whole week where we've been in this week where he's done with the NFL because all the owners are crooks and he's suing the NFL and he doesn't want to play football. Now his agent is like, because he's cost his agent probably yeah, you know, a lot of $5 money. million dollars over the last two weeks. Um, you know, I, I just... I don't. I don't think it's worth it. I just. I don't. I don't see him coming back. And if he comes back, he's going to be in a bad situation. We're talking. We're already. Here's the thing. We're already at week four. We're 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 a Fact. third of the season. Good point. We're a third of the season in fantasy football. Okay. Not 12, quite. Twelve regular season weeks. Twelve, right. maybe thirteen. You're you're thirty three percent done. It depends on your situation. If you're four zero after this week, and you like, okay, I'm pretty go- sure I'm going to make the playoffs. You want to throw him at the back of your roster instead of Elijah Penny? Sure, throw him on the back of your roster. But I, if you need something, Rashad, to get well, Rashad think, Penny, by the way, you said Elijah. no Elijah Penny. That's Elijah what he's talking Penny. about from New York. Oh, New York. Oh. Yeah, what I thought Elijah about? McGuire was his name. No, no. what are you? Ta- what are you talking? My about? My mistake. I, I got one right. Uh, yeah, Jesus. I got one right. Um, but. You want to throw him on your roster? Say, okay, well, maybe if he comes back, if I and he can help me in the playoffs, that's fine. But if you're if you're battling with all these buys coming up, you know we're we're getting we're two weeks away from six teams being on buys, right? And, and, we're, that, and, and I, we're gonna and we're gonna roster a guy that's a but that, I th- but I think knows? there's a big difference between those two things, right? Like again, I think once if once you get to that point and you look around, I said this to a guy that owns Antonio Brown in in one of my leagues. He was asking me about it yesterday. I said, if you need the spot, release him. Right. Right. Like, it's easy well, for that, me to say. I if mean, you well, need the easy, spot. It's easy to but say. But if you're, if you're doing it to pick up a, you know, a, a crap tight end right now just to hold somebody on your roster. Well, I, to hold no one. But you're going to need you're gonna need to play these crap tight ends in, in two yeah, weeks. Yeah, i got to play, play Eric Ebron this week. Right. I'm a, Jimmy, well, or, actually, I'm a George yeah, Kittle He's actually owner. a decent. Yeah, that's why I'm, I don't feel terrible about it. But I don't. I don't Actually, like a decent play this week. I don't like Eric Ebron, but he was the guy that was available because right. I'm a George Kittle owner, so that's what but I had it, to do. I, it, it's got to be you got to look at your roster construction. As a rule, I would say I don't think he's going to play, and I don't. I think this is just a. Right, if I'm a betting man, I, I just I I, I I I'm not picking him up and 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 wishing and hoping. But, but I have held roster spots for far worse things than the idea of Antonio Brown potentially being available later on in the season. Okay. Like I mean, I I wouldn't mind if that were to be the case. Um, the all the various quarterbacks. <laughs> Which ones? Who's? I mean, uh, I, I mean, Daniel Jones is the. Is guy. he the only one that's worth playing? Or well, I, uh, yeah. I mean, this week he is. Uh, I'm not thrilled about Mason Rudolph. It's a decent matchup, but he didn't look great. No. Um, I like Kyle Allen. I don't like his spot at Houston. It's not a great spot. I mean, Jacoby Brissett has has some appeal this week. Um. But I'm not playing Minshew at Denver, guys. I, no, there, there's too many. The quarterbacks overall as a group were too good last week, and the matchups for the ones that have been struggling, like Aaron Rodgers or um, or maybe a uh, 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 Jameis Winston, uh, you know, are good enough that I can forego those guys. All right. When we come back in, we're going to set your lineups and answer your questions, and maybe Ken will offer other awful trade ideas. Maybe. Maybe that'll be the next. Is he'll say, "Hey, I got an idea for you. You give me to Sean Watson, and I'm going to give you a kicker." Maybe he'll do that next. Maybe that'll be kickers what's next are people too. Uh, it is the Press Box Fantasy Football Show. We need just one minute. We'll come and answer your questions next. Catch all of the action at your neighborhood Glory Days Grill, where we have tons of TVs to catch every moment of every game. Enjoy $5.99 burgers on Mondays, $5.99 nachos on Thursdays, and drink specials throughout the season to help you cheer on your favorite teams. Come in today and try something new from our seasonal menu, Glory Days Grill. Great food, good sports. Need groceries today but don't have time to shop? Order online with same-day pickup or delivery at Wise Markets. Wise to go on now that's convenient. Back in here on the Press Box Fantasy Football Show. Uh, Ken Zalis is with us in the Live Casino Hotel Studio. All right, let's uh, start getting to some questions, KZ. From uh, Paul, uh, wants to know Russell Wilson against Arizona or Phillip Rivers against Miami? Uh, both top eight for me, but uh, Russell Wilson against Arizona. Arizona can't stop anybody. All right. Uh, from Andrew Stecka, he says, is it crazy to play the Green Bay defense tonight over the Ravens defense? And then same for Green Bay versus Seattle. 
Uh, whew. I dropped Seattle for Green Bay for what it's worth. Yeah, I, I, I don't have Seattle that highly ranked this week. Um, so I definitely playing Green Bay over Seattle. I have Baltimore higher um, this week than Green Bay, but they're 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 close enough. You're playing Green Bay because of the Thursday night. If you're playing them over Baltimore, because sometimes they're just ugly games yeah, and turnover right. fests and things right. like that. Well, and Green Bay's, hang on, Green Bay's defense Green is Bay's also de- very they good. Play, they've yeah. played well this year. Um, the line for I, I know the Ravens haven't really got to the quarterback a whole bunch, but the line for Cleveland has been just awful this year and has forced a bunch of turnovers um, from Baker and he's gotten sacked. So I like the Ravens' defense this week, so I, I, I'm going to lean them over the Packers. It's close enough that I'm not going to talk you out of the Packers. Because because we're here, I have the Bills' defense conundrum, right? I know. I do too. Um, so, like, in one league, I would have to, in order to get a different defense, I would have to be willing to drop Frank Gore, Adrian Peterson, or... Uh, I guess I could drop Golden Tate, but I don't know why I would no, do that you right now. Do that now. I mean, I I can drop Peterson if it's a PPR league. Yeah. Now the problem is I also have to play one of these. I like okay. So here's the problem I have. I have to play for sure one of Carlos Hyde, Adrian Peterson, or Frank Gore. Oh well, I have Hyde or Gore way over Peterson. This okay. Week. I mean Peterson. What's the story on Singletary? Singletary hasn't practiced yet, so we don't we don't know yet. Okay. All right. He hasn't. He hasn't practiced. So, this week. would you drop Peterson I would. to pick up a I, defense I that isn't the Bills' defense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would. If, if there's one available, there. Oh, uh, you know, what? I can't do that. I'm already dropping Peterson to pick up, try to pick up Matt Stafford tomorrow oh, okay. on the waiver wire because that's a Garoppolo league. Oh, okay. So now I would have to drop somebody else in order yeah, to get. Yeah, I probably just roll the dice. I would. I wouldn't drop one of those two running backs in order to get him. And I'm not dropping Tate because I'm probably not going to get him back next week. Right. Yeah. Right. I just live with it. Would you play LaShawn McCoy at flex over – I mean, we're assuming Damian Williams isn't going to play. Yes. Over the likes of Emmanuel Sanders, Tyrell Williams, and Chris Thompson. Yes. Okay. Um, let me get back to some listener questions from – John wants to know – uh, PPR, Robert Woods, or Marvin Jones, and when the heck is Woods going to get more yeah, targets? Yeah, I mean, right now it's got to be, I mean, first of all, I love the love the matchup uh, for Detroit. Uh, so I'm going to go Marvin Jones here. Look, the Wood, Woods thing is frustrating because everybody sees it, and, and that's a that's a big, uh, that offense really rolls, and it's against Tampa, but he seems like he's the, the third option in the passing game right now, and the fourth if you want to put the running game into it. So um, I like everything about um, Marvin Jones this week against Kansas City, so I'm going to go there. Um, This one's – I I wanted to stay only because we were talking about the uh, the Bills defense thing. Somebody else dropped the Bills defense in one of my leagues, obviously because of the matchup this week. I'd like to grab them because they're available and they seem to be very good. Mm -hmm. They're not going to play the Patriots every week. They've got a pretty good schedule. Only twice. Um is it worth dropping Malcolm Brown? I don't own Todd Gurley. Uh, I would I I would first try to trade Malcolm Brown to the Gurley owner and see what you can get for him. And then if you can't, I, I just go ahead if I need the defense. And, and I mean, help. but it's not like who's, I, the, who's your other? Well, I would be so. playing waiver wide. Like right now, I have to drop. I have to pick up a defense in that league because okay. I was playing the Titans. Last I don't. Week. I don't mind that. I mean, look. I mean, outside of the first week where he had the two touchdowns, Malcolm Brown really hasn't been startable. Right. So right, I That's don't mind sort of that. where I'm at. Would you play McLaurin over Tyler Boyd? Oof, no, I'm not there yet. Uh, this was it. it's funny that we keep doing this with defenses. Browns defense or Seahawks defense? Uh, I have the Browns higher. This uh, the, neither one I like. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Is there somebody that might be out there that you do like? Uh, Col- Colts, Colts against the Raiders. Colts could be there. I know the Steelers have been really bad, but 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 um, Cincinnati is awful. So I could I could go in that route. Um, I can play Cleveland. I have them below the Colts and, and the Steelers right now. So maybe one of those two. Uh, Aaron Jones or James White? Oh, here we are again. James White really messed me up last week. <laughs> I mean, you always like to say James White. This is your deal. You always like to say James White. So are you still saying James White? <sighs> PPR? 
Uh, it is a PPR. It is a P- Then I'm going James White. All right. Um, uh, from Michael needs a wide receiver and a half point PPR. Aguilar, Westbrook, Dorsett, or Fuller. Alshon is back. So right. as much as we want to want to love Aguilar, um, I kind of like Fuller this week. I kind of like four of that group. Boy, I I'm basically at the point of dropping him, man. He has uh, been frustrating. He's been there've been a lot of frustrated guys. So, I mean, you know, our Maryland boys at the top of the list. So I, uh, I we're talking about that in a second. By yeah, the way, that's an issue in one of my leagues. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't his fault. They're not the. It's the not ball his ball. fault at all. I I I just I I just have him over those guys so I, right. i'm gonna go for right, your answer's fuller uh raven defense or falcons defense or texans defense this week that's from john was it ravens falcons and and uh, ravens. Texans. Ra- ravens ravens falcons texans ravens falcons texans i'm going ravens all right um let's talk about stefan Diggs a little bit um I, like this is the danger right like i'll give you an example in one league i could play like um me call hardman for example, mm-hmm. over him. Mm-hmm. I feel like at this point, I almost have to, but I'm also worried that this is going to be the week where people remember like he's Stefan Diggs. Let's put it this way. I I, I was heavily invested in Diggs, so this is this is I mean, why wouldn't this you be? Uh, this is this is tough. I mean, I I had to pay like an extra premium in one of my leagues just to keep him. Um, sort of like a. Well, you were clearly all somebody who knew that the Vikings were going to be running the ball a lot more this year than they were last year. I did, Dalvin Cook. but I didn't. I didn't expect them to stop throwing altogether, like altogether. Right. Like we're not getting twenty passes. This is worse. You know, we. So you don't we, have faith that it's going to like. I. I that it's going to well, swing the other way a little bit. No, and it, and the problem uh, until it stops working, no, because it's working. This isn't the week to say okay. If Diggs doesn't do it this week, I'm done with him because they're playing at Chicago. I mean, it's the best defense in the league. So this isn't like this isn't the line for me. Well, I'm not. I'm not talking about driving. No, but I'm like. Right. But I'm not. Like, I mean, but, I have Diggs as a as a medium wide receiver three now, um, and I have Hardman just on the outside of wide receiver three. So you're still leaving Diggs in. I'm over still Hardman leaving Diggs in over Hardman. They're but playing. They're playing indoors in Detroit. Know, Last time, I, by the way, I found the stat. The he Mahomes threw for six touchdowns and almost 600 yards in his last Fair game. That so was with Texas Tech. I mean, it was oh, I'm sorry. Are they not a prolific offense? They are. That's the So I just look at I, at some point, Diggs, you know, they're going to – Diggs has got to have one-on-one because they're not going to want the ball to go to Thielen. Uh, I still have – I just in everything, I still have Diggs. I think they make an effort to get try to get him the ball tonight. Or this weekend, I'm still going it there. Really, it is a really see Hardman. Tough spot to be Hardman's in. a tough one because here's here's the thing with Hardman man, with, with me. It's like we see it. He plays in the be- on the best offensive team in football, but he's still not a volume guy, and he's a he's he's all a big play guy. So if it if the big play doesn't come every week, you're talking about a guy that's two for twenty. But it comes every week. Uh, well, the, until it doesn't. <laughs> until it doesn't, and. But that's also not that's not acknowledging the fact that he's a rookie and that he could have more added to his role. He could, he could. He also is going to have less added to his role once once Hill is back. Right, so he's not, but he's not but back this but week. He's not back this week. I I still have Diggs. I I I know, I know. But I always am true to my rankings, and I have to stay true to them. Today. <laughs> this is going to be a really tough one for me. I know this is going to be a really I'm difficult not, call I, for I'm me. I'm not mad at you if you go against this. I mean, one. I I I don't. I really am struggling with this at this point. Like I, I mean, I, Detroit secondary isn't a joke. I'm I just, know it's I very know. good. I mean, I mean no, that's, no question. That's part of it. I mean, it, this isn't. I mean, it's their not defense as a whole. Is their very defense good. is really good. Yeah. So it's not. It's not like oh, one's playing against a bad defense. One's playing against the best defense. I mean, they're both really good defenses. But I, I still going to go with the with Diggs for me. All right, uh, needs a flex from this group: uh, Corey Davis, no. Miles Sanders, John Ross, Will Fuller. I mean, if he'd stop fumbling, this is obvious, and it's Sanders for me, especially tonight, and in 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 they have to run the ball. Um, and I don't like the rest of them enough. 
I'm going to go Sanders because he's going to get the more, the most opportunity. I don't, I don't have any of them high enough to to consider not playing the running. I mean, he back. did just offer Will Fuller and one other, but that was that was a, a wide, wide receiver, receiver to a wide that's receiver. A that's a fair group. That's a fair. Point. I mean, these are all you know. Fuller is a wide receiver four for me this week. Uh, Ross is a wide receiver uh, low four. Westbrook's a five. All right. Uh, from Dave, needs to bench one from this group. Tyler Boyd, Tyrell Williams, Miko Hardman, Demarcus Robinson. It's Hardman for me of that group. Man. It's just hard. It's just hard. It's hard. With, with it's Chiefs. hard because it's of that offense. Chiefs receivers, right? Like okay, just, but, but we say, I mean, I'm not, we say look, that. I'm not. What, what did Sammy Watkins do last week? No, I hear you. I hear Great you. Great offense. Sammy Watkins was the odd man out. So, so – we're, we're basically, you know, put them in a hat. Which one is not going to get the football this I mean, week? And it's also by, by the way, with Marlon Humphrey, though, right? John wants to revisit your, your Robert Woods, Marvin Jones. He wants to point out, should I specifically play Woods because my opponent has golf? So, no. I, I don't like to play that game. Yeah. I'm not, I don't play fantasy football that way. You know, we... So so if golf, if you start Woods and Golf throws three touchdowns and none, none of them are to Woods, are you happy that you played him again with Golf? No, because your opponent has him. You so play you Martin you, Jones. Yeah, you, you play the guy that's going to get those most points. points. Yeah, you don't. You know, uh, I've had people tell me because my Brady's going against my defense. Should I bench? I was like, what? What? You right, probably shouldn't right. have your defense going against. Yeah, it's Patriots. probably not. Not. But, but like, you know, things oh, like. By that. the way, what, what do you owe me from? He bet that you were going to tell me that I should play the Bills. Like, he literally bet me that the other day when I was talking about the Bills situation. I said, Kyle, there's no way I'm playing the Bills. He said, I bet Ken's going to tell you to play them. I said, well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not dropping. I don't, 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 drop don't want yeah. I just, Look, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in leagues. I have the Bills. They're my only defense. There's nobody yeah. else there. If you have I n- don't want to drop anybody. Right. I'm just going to play if the Bills. But if there, was, if, yes. there was if there was anybody any else I could option, drop, correct. and there was anybody worthwhile that wasn't like – like the, you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers and defensively, or or who was no the Indianapolis. Everybody's saying Indianapolis is the is the defense of this week because they're going against the Raiders. They're averaging under a point a week in fantasy. How am I playing that team? I I don't have an answer for you. And their best player, I don't know if he's back yet. I all I don't have an answer. I, for I, you. I just yes. I'm like no. I'm if it's if it's Indianapolis versus. The Bills, for me, I'm going to bite the bullet and say, okay, they'll get a turnover. Maybe they'll sack him a couple of times, and it won't be horrible. Okay. All right. Uh, from uh, the same guy that had the wide receiver question, he asked, and these are names we've all talked about, uh, <laughs> needs a flex now out of this group. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, I guess it was Hardman that you left off. So Hardman, Sanders, Fuller, uh, Adrian Peterson. Didn't we say to play Sanders? No, that was another guy. Oh, that was oh, a oh. guy. But don't you think this also a little bit comes down to what kind of opponent you're facing? Like if you need a ceiling or you need floor? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of that. I, I mean did, if you're I if you're I've never strategized that. I, I, ha- I don't I don't strategized. either a lot. I don't either a lot because all those prediction things are just I think it also depends on what make. your team's like also, yeah. right? Like you're I mean, I, I want to play Sanders because it's it's the opportunity. He's gonna get fifteen touches. Okay, and so you just think that's going to be the, the best bet of yeah, that group. Yeah, right. it's the lowest floor for me. I understand what you're saying. I completely get it. All right, uh, what else is on your mind um, as as we get ready for the uh, the open of week four tonight? Aaron, Ro- I've gotten a lot of Aaron Rodgers questions. He's got to be played this week. I, I know. I get the struggling. The Philadelphia secondary is horrible. Thursday night doesn't scare you? It scares me a little bit, but it doesn't scare me off. I think Adams, I've gotten a lot of Adams questions. Do I dump him? Do I try to trade him for something high because of the name? I was like, no, he's a top five wide receiver. This is his week, too. I, 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 100 yards and at least a touchdown for Adams, and, and Aaron Rodgers gets close to multiple touchdowns, close to 300 yards tonight. I had um, – this is gen- – unfortunately, it doesn't tell me, like, who he'd be able to drop. So somebody just asked generically, Baker Mayfield got dropped in my league this week. How quickly would you be trying to get grab him? Until he plays well, I would. Okay. I mean, I, there there are 15 quarterbacks. And, and, you know, in a vacuum, I mean, who are you starting? I mean, you start Kirk Cousins? Yeah, I go grab him right away. You know, get him immediately. But, it, I mean, he's not – he's he's nowhere near fantasy consideration right now unless it's a two-quarterback league. Which case, 
you need anybody. You need right, anybody. Right. I mean, I, so, I guess that it wasn't dropped in a two I mean, quarterback. I league. mean, this week against the Ravens, who have not been great against the past, um, I got them at nineteen. I, I just it just hasn't been good so far. No, I, no, I and, and you just good. and the the other quarterbacks. It's like, uh, you know, maybe I could play him over over Dawden, who's right above him, but. I don't want to play him over Winston or Brissett or Stafford or Wentz or Allen, who are the guys right above him right there. So I don't want to play him and over. And so back to your Aaron Rodgers thought, right? Yes. Like how at how long until you you can't? So for me it's this week. Okay. For me it's really this week because this is this is the matchup. We're three weeks in. The rush should be gone, and I get it's a Thursday night game, but I, I you're playing against a secondary that simply can't stop the run. So if you're if the game plan tonight from Green Bay is to hand it off 25 times between Jones and Williams, and they're limiting, and this is the offense that we're stuck right, with, right? This is the one then deal. then it okay. So it's let me ask time you to look for well, another okay, option. So in one of your leagues, I have both Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Would you be playing Tom Brady at this point? Uh, not this week, but okay. but yeah. I mean, he's in consideration. I mean, both are both are QB ones every week. I have Rodgers at six this week and Brady at twelve. So I'm not. Brady's been unbelievably consistent. He is. Yeah. Uh, now, now Brady very rarely is going to. Yeah, he doesn't put up three fifty, three hundred. He doesn't put up four but, point, but two seventy five and two touchdowns every single week, and put it in the bank. And he's not going to, you know, in this NFL right now, he's not going to get any rushing yards. So it it bumps him down a little bit because you got guys, Watson, Jackson, Wilson, Prescott, even um, Murray, Daniel Jones. Now are all guys I put above. Tom Brady now because you get those extra fifty plus yards and maybe uh you know when we're doing these rankings a half a touchdown right. possibility right. um over him so it, it it hurts but he's he's wildly consistent week after week and yep. you know uh he's the only thing you can say that's consistent in that offense I mean people are asking me this week about Sony Michelle. <sighs> I, I don't know anymore. Right. I right. don't know. Right. I don't mean. I mean, I was high as could be. This is him. why I've gotten out of the business of dealing with Patriots running. Backs. I mean, the only one, and, and the only one I deal with is James White because he's usually the most no, consistent guy. But you were just guy. frustrated about him five well, minutes because, ago. It's yeah. because he didn't play last yeah. week. You yeah. know, God forbid. You know, you he's missed a child, right? Yeah. the birth of a child. I mean, what's it, child three or something? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a bad guy. You I are. know. Just, just kidding. All right. Just. Joking. Hey, catch all the action at your neighborhood Glory Days Grill where they have tons of TVs to catch every moment of every game. Glory Days Grill, great food, good sports. At Fans Fantasy on Twitter is, of course, how you follow them. If for some reason we didn't get to your question today, then you can get it in later on this weekend, and KZ will get you an answer if he can. If he can. He can I ask one it. question? What, you know, oh, try to offer me another terrible trade? No. Guess who's my number one ranked tight end this week? Your number one Darren Waller. tight end this week. Yeah, that's a good call. That's Darren Waller. It yeah. is Darren Waller. Yeah, he had a monster game last week. <laughs> it is Darren Waller. He had a monster game. you expect him to get game. it first try? No, I did not. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, he was huge. God, what did he uh, finish uh, like 30 some points? catches, it's 134 yeah. yards. The volume is just absolutely insane. Yeah, it's Somebody bonkers, yelled man. at me this week because uh, I... I mean, it would be really nice if George Kittle became George Kittle again sometime mm -hmm. soon. He won't be this week. I know that. Thank um, you. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> it's my last piece of that. But sure. somebody yelled at me because I didn't have Waller on my must-start list for tight ends, and I was like, I really have a mental block with Darren Waller. It's tough. Yeah. putting him on that really list. Tough. I really have a problem with it. I said, but if he does it again this week, I promise you I will have him there. <laughs> well, I mean, he was unbelievable. He was. No He's been He's great. He's unbelievable. All right, uh, very good. Appreciate it, sir. It's good to see you. He you will be too. back with us next Thursday at 1130. We will see you tomorrow morning for Glenn Clark Radio at 10. This has been the Press Box Fantasy Football Show.